Hello, welcome back to Stay and Stay Safe and uh, draw a unicorn. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. So, I was looking through my sketchbook. I found a, you know, oh, hello, that's me waving hello. I don't know which way to do it. There's a unicorn, right? That's the one I drew before. But yeah, it's a bit too difficult, I think. Nope. Let's do something a bit more simple so that mummies and daddies and children can do it. So let's keep it very, very simple. Okay? So this is a simple video so everyone can join in. So first of all, let's draw a potato shape or an olive shape or a bean, baked bean, that kind of shape. Okay? And then another one up here. So you've got the body and the head. Okay? So make sure that fits inside your paper. Now we do some circles. There's a big one here on the butt and one on the nose. So you've got two circles here, okay? You can pause it if you want to, at any point. Now, uh, I'm gonna go from, I'm gonna make the head a little bit flat on the head there. I go do an ear, little ear. Go around, around the nose, in the chin, and up around the jaw, only halfway though. Then from that jaw, I'm gonna connect it to the body, and from the top of the ear, the body, okay? Now I'm gonna go down a little bit here, and then up around the bum. So down a little bit, then up around the bum. Got that? Now the legs, I'm going to go down. And from roughly from where the head ends, you're going to start doing your leg. And these go in and then out a bit. Because this is a cartoon unicorn, okay? So they have big feet. And this is the one behind, the leg behind, okay? Really simple. So the legs go back a little bit, then forward. Okay? And they join up to the circle. You see that? And then the leg behind, uh, let's do one here. A little bit more forward than that one. Okay, so we've got some movement. It's good to have movement when you're drawing animals. Here's the eye, another little circle. So it's a lot of circles, a lot of ovals. And there's a little oval shape there for the nose. Let's draw the tail. Now you can do the tail as big as you want or as small as you want. There's no laws with how big your tail can be. Here's some spikes at the bottom here. But you can do that tail massive. I mean, that tail's quite small, but you can do it bigger than that. And here is the unicorn bit, the horn. Again, you can make that as big or as small as you want. Now we're doing the mane. So we've got a little flick of hair there going behind the ear and little uh, pockets of hair that could be different colours. And then obviously some little spikes of hair coming from the other side and some lines here to... But I've, I think I've probably rubbed these lines out anyway. So that's just to help me. And the eye, a little bit of a circle on there. So now... Let's move on to a marker pen. So if you've got a marker pen that is um, permanent, I've got a Sharpie here, but you can use uh, any sort of permanent marker or black biro, even a biro would do. You can go up and draw. Now we're just drawing the outline of the horse. We're not drawing all the circles. We're just drawing where we want the black line to be. And I really do expect people to start sending me these pictures, please, or posting them on Facebook or whatever, and hashtag Oliver Pengilly, and then I can see them. That'd be great. See, doing the outline of the horse. That leg's in front of the one behind, so that goes right there. Then the one behind you do afterwards. There we go. And then the tail. Oh, I added another spike. Uh, so you can you can do different things when you do the pen. You can change it slightly. And then round the bum, round the back, and up round the shoulder. Okay, that's a really simple horse shape. Uh, it's not quite right. It is cartoon. I'm doing the mane now on the little parts of the mane so we can change the colors and you know make it a unicorn horse uh rainbow unicorn like my daughter says here's the eyes round the top maybe a bit more flat at the bottom little black uh and a little eyebrow color that in black the nostril and if you want to add a smile you can add a smile there we go lovely smile now we're going to get the rubber okay so if you've got a rubber at home hopefully you do uh, if you don't have a rubber, then, um, yeah, I don't know, uh, forget rubbing it out. You don't have to rub it out. But this helps for me just to see where my outline is and to get rid of the other lines. But if you can't get rid of, you know, if you can't get rid of the lines, that's fine. That's okay. Um, and if you don't have a permanent marker either, you can, I'm, I'm trying to think of it. people at home right now thinking, what have I got at home? Well, use whatever you can. We're all in this together, right? So you can just use biros, pens, whatever you want. Um, to get that outline of a horse. Now, I think that horse, I think the tummy's too big. I think the horse, that is that is pretty rubbish, really, for me. Um, but I'm doing it freehand. Um, I'm trying to do it as best I can. Um, but now I'm getting my colour pens out. I think I speeded this up because I got a little bit bored. 
So I've got my colours here. These are colouring pens. You can use uh, crayons. You can use felt tip pens. You can use whatever. But the legs behind are darker. A bit of shadow there under the eye, under the chin. Uh, a little bit more different colour. I, I didn't really know what I was doing with the colour there. So this is a nice blue colour. Kind of filled in the horse a little bit. Uh, the unicorn, sorry, not horse. Uh, at the back. You can just see I just added a little bit of colour onto the onto the horse there. And I started colouring in the main, I chose red and or you know, orange, yellow, purple. You can choose whatever colours you want. Um so it's totally up to you how you do this. My daughter does beautiful versions of this and they are very different than mine. So honestly you can paint this whatever um you can colour this whatever colours you want. Um and there you go. That's a very simple unicorn. So there it is. That, now what you can do with this is you could add wings. See? So there you go. You can pause that and do wings if you want. You can add rainbow on the bum or anything on the bum. You could add a moon and clouds. and Because you've got a lot of space there on the unicorns on the body. So you can do whatever you want on the body. Add glitter, glue, gems, whatever. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gives you something to do. Remember to stay in and stay safe. And thanks for watching. I'll do another one tomorrow. God bless.